Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing and setup on a Vizio home theater surround sound. Now what makes this unit a little bit different is that the rear speakers are connected to a wireless subwoofer so you can have full DTS Dolby Digital sound. So sit back and relax and let's get started. I must tell you, this box is a little tricky. So you cut out the little tape around the edges and then you pull this up and then it opens up like a hinge. See that? Now the first thing we do is we get a accessory kit. Let's put that to the side. And when we open this up, you have the styrofoam and I do believe that's where the subwoofer is held. All right. Get everything out of the box first here. And then I'm gonna put this to the side. Alright, so here's the session kit. Let's see what comes inside. Alright, first thing you do is you get an instruction book and a setup guide. You get the remote control, two wall mount brackets, and also a bracket for the centerpiece. You get a regular input, power for the subwoofer and the main speaker, two speaker wires. Uh, I'm not sure how long that is, probably around 20 feet. Another power supply. And then you also get a fiber optic cable for the uh, center channel speaker to hook up to your TV set or Blu-ray player. And here's a better look at the remote control. Looks like a menu and it has like a little display up here. Let me pop the batteries back in real quick. So now I have the batteries in there and there's a little tiny display. You probably can barely see it on the screen here. But the functions you do show up in this little display right here on top. So let's see, see what else we have in the box. All right, so you get the sound bar in here in the box. Also, you get the subwoofer and your left and right rear speakers to go along with the subwoofer. On the back side, you have two different inputs. One is a fiber optic and one is a digital, so that'll be coaxial digital. It kind of looks like an RCA cable. And then as you can see there, you have your uh, power input. Now on the opposite side, we have Two analog inputs. You have your regular RCA to RCA input right there and then below that you have your 3.5 millimeter jack input and then you have a USB uh, connector. Uh, normally that's used for updating the firmware and some other things. So now we have the subwoofer here and you can see right there it looks like about a six inch subwoofer. It's pretty heavy to the fill because it does have built-in amplifiers. Over here you can see you have a port for bass and then on the back side is where the connections are. So now here you have your off and on. Here's your pair mode so you can pair it to the main unit and then have your surround sound outputs right there. And then mainly that's where you plug it into the wall. So if you can look on the back of the, the surround speakers, they have a speaker wire input and that would go right here to the speaker wires and again, this would transmit the signal from your main soundbar wireless to this, and then these out to the back speakers. Give you that full surround sound effect. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see what it sounds like. All right, so now I got the speakers set up here on the subwoofer. You can see one of the rear speaker output wires is going right over to one of the rear speakers. These speakers are gonna mount on a stand or on a uh, wall right behind you. And then here's the other one going over. And then this actually is plugged into the wall. All right, so here we have the sound bar. And you see right here, I have it plugged in as auxiliary. I'm gonna use this cell phone to test it out. And then here is where we have uh, your fiber optic input. And normally that would go to a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation or something like that. And then once I get it all set up here, I have the remote control to uh, control the volume. 
So let me go ahead and uh, get this where we can listen to it. I also want to show you these buttons on the side of the soundbar. You have your volume up and down. You have your uh, Bluetooth uh, pairing mode. You have your input selector. And you also have your power button. So if you lose your remote control, you at least have some controls right there. Now one of the first things you notice is down here, there's a bunch of lights going off. The soundbar is looking for the subwoofer, so go to the back of the subwoofer and press that pairing button that I showed you earlier. Now, if you can see all the lights went off, it's now connected. So what we're going to do is listen to some royal free music, see what it sounds like. Now I have some controls here, so if you hit the menu, you can change your pairing, bass, Your center channel, which is in the center right here. Your surround sound volume. And then your balance from left and right, and your subwoofer. So there's my video on the Vizio surround sound speakers. These actually sound really nice for, you know, probably around 200 plus dollars, you can get a nice little surround sound. The subwoofer sounds very solid once you hear live. Uh, the rear speakers are really crisp, uh, just like they're plastic enclosure. So don't expect too much sound, but again, it's to give you that, that, uh, that feeling behind you. Uh, the main sound bar, nice crisp sound. It actually has three speakers in it for your left, right, and center channel has plenty of inputs and digital inputs for coaxial and uh, optical which is very rare to find today so if you're looking to buy a set like this or you want to you know pick up something go to amazon.techstevehd.com plus i'll leave the link in the description below and you can go ahead and go that too like all my videos before if you like this video give me a thumbs up tell your friends about it and i'll see you on the next one peace